Hi, here Shimon Bochniak from Microsoft 365 at work. Deploy usage analytics and start to monitor your user adoption. I prepare for you instruction how to deploy Office 365 usage analytics on your Microsoft 365 environment. This is the solution that gathers the data from usage statistics and deliver you the reports that will help you to tell who use what in your organization, how usage is split between active and inactive users, and which key Office 365 applications are utilized by your business colleagues. Of course, this is not the details of the reports that Google Analytics could deliver for your website, but still this is something very valuable, something that you should know and something that you should use in your company. The tool itself is free. The only thing you have to own is Power BI license to cover that, but still it's really worth to try it at least on the trial version of Power BI. If you like this video, please feel free to leave your subscription, leave the thumbs up. This video material is also the part of the uh, training I'm providing at academy.office365.com where you can find free training how to get Office 365 for free. During the training you will get the chance to know other adoption tools that you can easily deploy in your organization for free which mostly are provided by Microsoft. Now I will switch to my screen. One of the first applications you should deploy on your Microsoft 365 environment is Microsoft 365 Usage Analytics. This is a free tool that helps to analyze and review current state of usage of your platform. This is the free app prepared by Microsoft based on Power BI, which retrieves the data from the usage statistics in the Office 365 and delivers free reports, which will help you to tell where you are, how applications are used by whom, where some adoption activities will be needed. This application will be the most useful from perspective of the uh, adoption process. So how to train the users, which business units or which, uh, which countries using the Office 365 the most efficient way. And you will be able to retrieve a lot of data about how your users behave, what they are doing, which application they use. When you will go to your admin center, Microsoft 365 admin center, go to the reports and to the usage. In the usage, you will see the reports. This is standard reports, which I also encourage you to try. Of course, we are on the test tenant, so we have one active user, but on your production environment, on your client's environment, you will probably see here a bigger numbers. So both solutions will tell the same story from your perspective. And in the bottom of this report, you will find here Microsoft 365 usage analytics get started. So go there. In the next step, you will see possibility to turn it on. The one important element about that, you need Power BI Pro license here. In the developer program, this license is included on the production tenants. This is something that you have to bot. In worst case, if you have to try it for a moment, you can enable trial license for that and use that for 30 days just to test the solution or see what kind of data you can get there. When you will refresh your screen, you will see that uh, we getting your data. Soon this in this place, there will be possibility to start the application. You will need to give Microsoft about 15 minutes, sometimes an hour. After that time, get back here and we will follow the next steps. After some time, when you will get back here in the usage, you will see that the provisioning of the Microsoft 365 usage analytics is done and notifications like this one will be present here. What you have to do is to copy the tenant ID that is presented in here and navigate to the Power BI to finalize the setup of this Power BI application. When you will navigate to the Power BI dashboard, go to Apps and select Get Apps. In the new pop-up window, select the Microsoft 365 Usage Analytics. In the new window, just select Get It Now and fill the data in the form. 
and agree for the terms of use of the application. The deployment of the app will start, select to install it. When the new application will appear, open it and you will need to connect it with your data. So this is the space you have to put your tenant ID to make it work. And confirm to sign it using OAuth. The app will need a few moments to set it up with access to your tenant. If you would like to play with the more realistic data, the basic setup contains some dummy data. This kind of setup will be most useful in case of trying this, these reports, but still it's worth to play with it. Deployed Microsoft 365 Usage Analytics solution offers you a lot of interesting reports that gives you insights about how your users, how your business use using Office 365 applications across your Microsoft 365 tenant. All reports are interconnected with each other so you can drill down through the data you have there. You can check how the adoption, usage or communication looks like across the platform, how users using collaboration or storage or do they use mobile solutions in your environment? Another useful thing you can find here is information about how many users do you have, how the licenses are assigned across them, and one thing which could be also very important, how the product usage looks in very detailed information, like here from perspective of exchange, how many emails, how many messages is sent. You can use that kind of reports to do your analysis about your adoption process, about the training that are needed for your business users. And one more thing, which is also quite important and very useful, you can drill down through that data based on the company name and based on the departments assigned there. So this is something that you can also use to get into very detailed information here. The reports are not perfect, but still they are very good and this is a useful additional component that we can use in your organization or on the client side to see how this Office 365 environment is used, what kind of components are used, where the improvements are needed if you want to increase the utilizations of the Office 365 application. I encourage you to try the application it is free from perspective of the product of the license, but remember, you need to have Power BI Premium license to use it. As you can see, deployment of usage analytics for Microsoft 365 is quite easy. It's worth to try it at least with Power BI trial license. This will give you the possibility to monitor your adoption and get better overview where you are with usage of Office 365. If you would like to get to know about other adoption tools or materials that could help you to engage your business users, visit my blog. For now, thank you very much for watching and see you in next episode.